Hey there, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance, and in this video, we're gonna go over Red Dead Redemption 2's launch being the most successful weekend launch in entertainment history. So Red Dead Redemption 2, probably the most highly anticipated game this entire year and maybe a few years when you really think about it. Obviously the first game is something everyone loved and because Rockstar put such a gap in between their releases, you know, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, that builds a lot of excitement. And that's how things used to be actually now that I think about it until everyone started rushing stuff out. Whether it be a Call of Duty game every year or a FIFA game or an NBA game every year, Madden, they don't have the same buildup like a Red Dead Redemption or how Star Wars used to have a big buildup. You know, with years in between, they started putting them out every year solo every six months and eh, they start to not do so well. But Rockstar knows what they're doing when it comes to their games. And they just had a larger opening than any movie in history. In fact, no movie has come even close to this number. And the only competitor really is Rockstar's other game, GTA V. So for its first three days over the weekend, Rockstar brought in with Red Dead Redemption 2 over $725 million. So think about that in movie terms. Wow, 100 million opening, that's really good. Okay, uh, Avengers Infinity War, you know, two, over 250 million or, you know, whatever those movies make. Sure, count in International too. Maybe they make 500. Who knows, maybe they can get close to 600 million. But nothing's touching $725 million opening weekend, three-day opening weekend for Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely raking in the cash. Now, the only caveat in being the biggest of all time and the second biggest of all time is how you define when it came out. So if we're talking weekend, which is generally your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just like movies are, Red Dead Redemption 2 is number one. If you include just first three days in general, Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V is number one, which had a billion dollars over its first three days. But games generally release on a Tuesday. That's what gamers expect. That's when they line up. And that's when GTA V actually came out on a Tuesday. So... It had those days building up, whereas the weekend, not so much of a gamer's day, but still 725 million for a game that is basically a Western. I mean, Westerns aren't that popular in almost anything nowadays, especially in movies. They don't ever hit huge anymore. And really, as far as video games go, I can't even hardly think of any other ones, but... They got the market for it, and they now hold a record. And not only that record do they hold, Sony confirmed that Red Dead Redemption 2 broke a number of their records as well, including highest ever pre-orders, highest single day sales, and highest three day sales for any game released on the market. Microsoft hasn't confirmed with Xbox, but one can imagine it's probably similar for the Xbox One as well, setting those type of records. Not only that, but of course the reviews are pouring in too about how great the game is. All I see are 10 to 10s, 5 of 5, so let me know your thoughts on Red Dead Redemption 2. Is it deserving of the number one or number two spot, whichever it is, for being the largest entertainment launch in history for any video game, movie, anything? So far, it's hard to disagree with any of that, given the reviews, but let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you later.